Hello and welcome to the <coughs> next Lucosa Retro Game Review video. For this one, it is Yolanda for the Commodore Amiga, which was released in 1990 by Millennium, or as they became known um, after releasing this, those bunch of fucking cunts. Um, now you go back to uh, review number 499 of this channel, I reviewed a Commodore 64 game called Hercules, which was an utterly contemptible, um, ludicrously hard uh, platform game that was less fun than shoving barbed wire down your fucking jacksite. And uh, Millennium decided that if there was one thing the Amiga needed, it was its own version of that game. To that end, they unleashed this, which uh, is essentially an out and out port. They've tightened up the graphics, they've changed the sound, but uh, the gameplay and the layout is exactly the same. Exactly the same. Uh, the few changes that they did make, firstly, they uh, they went and decided, right, we'll you know we'll use the tried and tested method of ensuring sales by having scantily clad women uh, appearing on the uh, box art and on the uh, title page here because let's face it it works with game over I mean the game was a stinking load of shit but uh, it sold by the shitload just because tits and the same happened here. I think this game did sell fairly well, which shows just how many fucking ultra gullible cunts there were who owned Amigas back in the day. What am I saying? Fucking Rainbow Islands was the biggest selling game for the Amiga, so of course there were plenty of fucking brain dead cunts who had Amigas. Um, now, let's just get this over and done with shall we so you press fire start and it comes up with uh, the text um, introduction for each level and they have copied the text word for word from the uh, Commodore 64 game which of course was Hercules so much so that this text constantly refers to Hercules and what he does but Hercules is nowhere to be seen in this game it's, it's about this totally different character called Yolanda, whoever the fuck that is. Uh, so, you know, yeah, it's this completely new original game, this. Uh, so, fire to actually start the level. And so it then chooses uh, the next level completely at random. and so on. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck me. Okay, that one's gonna... I was gonna say, I thought that was gonna burst into fucking blades. Oh, 
know where the fuck do I go. Let's try. Fuck me. What? Well, that was not intentional. I don't really need to say very much. And unless it, co it, it shows a particular level, I've got no chance of well, doing anything. Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, now, yeah, the timer started again, so all of the uh, all the platforms are gonna. Get on them! I mean, the, the last Amiga game that I covered was, um... Fuck the world, which was a staggering amount of fucking shit, and it was truly a hateful uh, game. But compared to this, it was an absolute fucking masterpiece. Uh, gaming does not get more hateful than this. I mean, what a fucking unbearable, frustrating fucking sack of shit! And to say this lot would take in the piss is a masterpiece of understatement. This isn't just taking the piss. I mean, this is just basically saying to every Amiga owner, we fucking hate you. We think you are all absolute fucking wankers. And we want to make sure that you think the same of, of us. I mean, the game is just endless fucking frustration. But of course, we all knew it was going to be, because it's Hercules, but for the Amiga. But they have actually managed something which many people, including myself, thought was impossible. Which is to make this worse than Hercules was. The one level I can do, if it will let me actually do it, Yeah, 
we go, actually got through and now we're on to the second part which I, I'm amazed I got through that. Serious, who fucking thought that you know making one of the most hateful fuck off you cunts who thought that uh, yeah, yeah, that making this game was a good idea I mean, this, this music, okay, it's better than the audio in, um, well, the music part is better than the audio in um, Hercules. It, it doesn't suit the game, though, at all. I mean, you know, this is supposed to be like a, a Greek mythology or whatever setting. Well, this music just does not sound fucking right. It doesn't fit in with fucking Greek mythology. <clears throat> but they've then made it fuck knows how many times worse by throwing in two of the most fucking annoying sounds I have ever heard in any video game of any era the first is this. See, of course, that was that level. It didn't last long enough for, uh, you know, for you to really hear it. But that, eh, 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 oh, fuck off! And if that wasn't uh, fucking annoying and irritating enough, No, what we then get is the whole fucking most annoying sound of all, which is the sound when you lose a life. That, and believe me, anyone stupid enough to have bought this game back in the day heard that sound plenty of fucking times well as I say that I mean that's assuming they were fucking stupid enough to ever load this game more than once I mean the game is contemptible shit I actually did two names fuck off I mean, it is truly the most hateful. I mean, I've played plenty of games that I detest you know, for for various reasons, but no other game generates so much hate as this. Fucking load of bollocks! And some people will probably be saying, you know, oh, it's only a game, you can't get uh, too fucking annoyed by you know, just playing a game. Right? Those people have never played this. So, Chris Sorrell, you are a fucking cunt. There is no other way of putting it. 
I think the the collective noun for uh, Millennium Games employees is a cunt of uh, developers. I mean, apart from, you know, the fucking Zap64 reviewers who had clearly... They, they were clearly on something at the time when they reviewed Hercules. No one else liked the game. Everyone else, quite rightly, thought the game was fucking hateful, fucking shite. From the word go. So why the fuck did this lot then decide, right, the Amiga definitely needs this game added uh, you know, to its library? Because it's so great. And it's so popular among Commodore 64 owners. But we've got to make it even more annoying by giving it some of the most irritating audio ever heard in video games. And I'm not just talking about at the time. It's the most annoying video game audio I have ever heard in my fucking life. I mean, how the fuck am I supposed to, yeah, jump over there? And then to that one! I can fuck off! I just can't quantify, you know, the utter fucking contempt I have for this fucking shitty load of utter contemptible fucking hateful cunt. Now I've got to try and do a review of this. Though some of you may have a, a, a slight idea as to what direction the review is going to uh, go in. Right, so graphics. Um, I mean, it's bad enough that they, you know, resorted to uh, the, you know, oh yeah, let's have uh, let's have tits in the game because that'll make people buy it. And I'm pretty sure it did work. But when you actually get to the game, right? Well, everything's so small. Right. Uh, your, your sprite is so small there, the main Yolanda sprite. So you combine how fucking small the sprite is with the fact that you have to be pixel perfect when you move around. Well, you know, what the fuck do they want from people playing this? I tell you what, well actually I know the answer to that, what they want is for these people to fucking suffer. So, yeah, graphically okay, there is vague levels of detail in on the sprites in the game, but they're too small, and of course they then you know, add insult to injury by making it that uh, you've got to be absolutely pixel fucking perfect uh, when you're moving around the screen, as well as stupidly fucking fast reflexes. Oh, it was that one. I mean, that one really does take the piss. So I'm not impressed with the graphics at all. Audio. The music suits the game about as well as, you know, a fart suits a wedding. Uh, it, it's just, 
You know, it's not like it's badly done, it's just it does not fit in. It's supposed to be Greek mythology. This music is not, it's not conjuring up images of Greek mythology to me. So, right, so that's the Greek mythology bit. And then the sound effects. I suppose technically that <coughs> fucking intro music is considered a sound effect because it's like a timer. I mean that could not have been made more irritating if they tried. But I'm pretty sure that was the uh, intention from the word go. Why do I have a feeling? Okay, I thought a platform was going to appear there. But because you got no fucking idea. I mean, the invisible platforms show up, but you don't know if they will or not. So you just lose another life. So if that um, timer music intro, uh, you know, isn't irritating and annoying enough, there's then the the sound when you do lose a life. Although, I'm actually... Is it gonna... No. Fuck off. Um, actually, I think that, that sort of like timer, you know, grating jingle is probably worse than the uh, losing a life uh, sound. I mean, there's not much to choose between the two, but I think... You see, I'm, It doesn't... There's no indication to say you've reached the top of the screen. You just climb the rope and hope you don't, you know, move it that pixel too far, which means you fall off the fucking thing. I mean, this game must have led to multiple Amigas being smashed to fuck. And um, multiple joysticks and monitors, or, you know, getting the same fucking treatment. Where do you go from here? So, uh, graphics and sound done. At least gameplay. There isn't any. This is the most unplayable, most utterly contemptible, utterly fucking hateful sack of fucking shit. And I'm genuinely, I know I say, you know, a lot of over-the-top stuff, um, you know, for comedic effect or whatever, but I genuinely hope that uh, the people who developed this game on numerous occasions got punched in the face by, you know, total strangers who had just, who had bought this. I genuinely hope that happened to them. Because, you know, on top of everything else, you throw in the final insult. This game was 25 quid. So these cunts had created this fucking horrendous shit fucking fest. And then wanted people to pay 25 quid to endure it at 
no time, and I'm at no time at all, does this ever get close to being, well, bearable, let alone anything else. Gaming does not get worse than this. Because it doesn't matter how shit uh, a game is that you've played. Right, the chances are you will just literally say, oh, this game is shit, and never look at it again. But this game is genuinely one that shows that the developers have nothing but contempt for people who play games. I mean, the game itself has nothing but contempt for, for gamers. The developers clearly have nothing but contempt for gamers. Otherwise, they would never have made it as unbelievably fucking hateful and frustrating as it is. And then, and like I say, the final insult. They then charge 25 fucking quid for this. They expected people to pay 25 quid to endure this fucking cunt. So, um, how do I rate it? I cannot think, I genuinely cannot think of a, uh, I cannot think of a score uh, low enough to um, rate this thing. This is the kind of game that would genuinely put people off ever playing video games. Because if video gaming results in this level of fucking, you know, frustration, then why on earth would anybody want to subject themselves to it? So, yeah, what we have then is a game developed by people who clearly hate gamers. A game that seems to be designed to make the player hate video games. It is just absolutely the most hateful gaming experience you can possibly conceive. At no point does it become remotely resembling enjoyable. It never gets anywhere near it. And I think the developers of this deserve total fucking contempt. They didn't just deserve it back in the day, they still deserve it now. So, yeah, I, uh, I just cannot think of a score. So I'm, I'm, I'm not giving it a score, but just in case you may be wondering, um, its score will not be a high one. Um, but yeah, I mean this, this game can just fuck off. Uh, so can everyone um, who was responsible for it. So there you go. Uh, Yolanda for the Amiga. Uh, one thing is for sure, uh, the next Amiga game that I cover will be better than this because it is absolutely impossible for a game to be more hateful than this thing. So it, it is impossible for me to choose an Amiga game that is worse than this because there's no such thing. Um, I would say Yolanda is the worst video game ever created. That's my rating out of 10. Worst video game ever created, and I'm absolutely serious. Uh, 
I think that's as good a note as any to end on. So there we are. Uh, that brings this review mercifully to an end. And we will see you in the next one.